Uh, breaking news in Denver. Two people shot inside a school. Police say a student, a juvenile, had to be patted down daily for weapons. And as administrators were patting him down this morning, he pulled out a gun and opened fire. He is now on the run. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg in the newsroom with the very latest. Lauren. Joe and Sandra, that suspect has not been found and neither has his weapon, which is why police in Denver are urging people to be on alert as they're concerned that he could use that weapon again. This shooting happened at a school that is just 10 miles north of Columbine High School, where 13 people were killed in 1999. In today's school shooting, the two people injured are deans at the school. One is in critical condition. The other is in stable condition. I was going that way, and then like behind me, I heard like a little struggle going on, and I just hear gunshots, and I just see people moving really fast, running. So I started running too, because you never really know. And in school, you're supposed to feel safe, so something like that, obviously, you're not supposed to hear that in school. Shots fired at East High School in Denver this morning. Two faculty members hit. The gunman, believed to be a student, who authorities say was checked every day for weapons. They had been searched uh, previously to, to today and had never had a weapon on them before. However, today, uh, during that search, which, which took place away from other students, away from other school staff, uh, they did produce that we weapon and fire shots. The two people wounded received aid within seconds because paramedics were already in the building helping a sick student. They were able to immediately begin to uh, administer support and treatment to the individuals who were wounded, and uh, that I think will play a huge role in their ultimate recovery um, from this. But guns are a big issue for students at the school. Earlier this month, students marched on the state capitol, demanding stricter gun control after an East High School student was shot in his car right near the school. When we just had his funeral on Saturday. How much more is it going to take before people start realizing this place is a ticking time bomb? We have a lockdown damn near every other week or every other day. It's so consistent. It's like it don't even surprise me no more. Now, the suspect had transferred to the school from another district, and it is policy throughout the state of Colorado to create safety plans for certain students who've had behavioral experiences or present certain issues. It is not clear exactly what this student's issues were, but he was checked every day for a weapon.